Hello everyone. This segment of work focuses on the cash flow statement. Key aspects that we shall be talking about, income tax paid, dividends paid, and then from the cash flow statement, extracts for financing activities, and a rather simple one here called net changes in cash and cash equivalents. Right, I've got an answer sheet right here with uh, the information that you see in red already pre-populated, so I save time instead of writing them down as I'm talking my way through it. So here goes, income tax paid. Looking at your question paper, three figures are needed. Amount from last year, amount due at the end of this year, and then your tax paid for the year. That will be an amount usually given in the income statement. Alternatively, they'll tell you the tax rate is 28%. You need to work it out yourself. However, they've gone and done this for us, giving us the before tax figure and the after tax figure and you subtract one from the other, you're getting 533,100 as your tax figure. So let's put those down on our answer sheet. Balance due at beginning of year, 69,300, copied and pasted. The amount from the income statement, which we've just calculated a short while ago, 533,100. And the amount due at end of year, 19800 which is a negative figure. And once you add up those numbers accordingly, you should get 582600 as your income tax paid. Similarly, let's go to the dividend calculation. In respect of dividends, again, we're in search of three figures. Number one, balance due at beginning of year. Number three, balance due at end of year. And number two, total dividends for the year, which they've given to us. So now we go to our answer sheet and start bringing in these figures. Dividends paid, balance at beginning of year, 247,500. Total dividends for the year, 835,000. Balance at end of year, 340,000. And again, when you crunch those numbers, you should get 742,500 as your dividends paid for the year. Nothing too heavy about those at all. Now let's move on to cash effects of financing activities. There's a re share repurchase, there's a sale of shares, and there's a loan repayment as well. Let's take them one at a time. First, let's look at the ordinary share capital account, right? The reason I'm doing this here is to show you in T-account form how to calculate the changes in shares. So share capital. Your balance at beginning of year, share capital, 11,220,000. 11,220,000. Balance at end of year, 9,555,000. So 9 million. 555,000. And here will be your repurchase, and here will be your sale. Now, we have no indication anywhere in here about the sale of the shares. All we know here is what's given in respect of share capital. So let's take a look. On 1st of March, shares in issue, 1650. We got that down there as a amount was given to us. Then 50,000 additional shares were issued. We have no idea how much that is. So let's leave that sitting there. However, we got the third of four answers. Remember, 11,220,000, 9,555,000 is one and two. And we got three coming up right here. 335,000 shares at 9 rand 50 per share. You multiply that out and you get an answer of 3,182,500. And that's our third answer. All we need is that fourth answer in respect of the sale of shares. So we take these two figures and we add them up. 9 million odd plus 3 million odd. You've got 12,737,500. You bring that across to your credit side. And by subtraction, 11,220,000 uh, uh, subtracted from 12 million. 737,500. I'll circle this figure. And whenever I teach this, 
the figure that I usually circle is a balancing figure. So you're not going to find that answer anywhere in the question paper because it hinges on work done elsewhere, as we have shown now with the share repurchase. So we've got 1,517,500 in there. That is our share capital, sale of shares, purchase of shares. So now let's, let's plug that into our work. So we go back to the answer sheet, share repurchase. Here we've got 3,182,000. Five hundred. The sale of shares from our workings, one million five hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred. Now, do remember the sale of shares was positive. The share repurchase was a negative figure. The loan repayment that was also a taxing calculation. But nevertheless, my task here is to show you how to get to that answer. So let's start here with that loan. We know the loan balance at beginning of year was an amount of 2,080,000. Balance at end of year, if it was given, that would make our work so much easier. It wasn't, so we got a task here. They've made monthly installments of 35,000, including interest. So 35,000 times 12. And that 35,000 rands times 12 to give you an amount of 420,000 rands. However, the interest that was capitalized, which you will find here, was 270,000. So if you subtract the interest through from there, 420 minus 270, so that's 420,000 minus 270, okay, is an amount of 150,000. And that is the loan repayment in that respect. So now we take that amount, and where we have the loan repayment, 150,000, in it goes. We repaid it, so that's a negative figure. And we bring all of that together, we arrive at a final answer of 1,815,000 rands. And that covers a rather complicated calculation for cash effects of financing activities. I would suggest that this is an excellent calculation that you need to familiarize yourself with whenever you're doing a cash flow uh, statement revision. Moving on. Net changes in cash and cash equivalents. Nothing too much here for us to worry about. Let's take a look, though. The bank balance. Trade and other receivables, cash and cash equivalents. Here is an amount of 154700 which we should use immediately. But wait a minute. Somewhere along the line, we get told there's a bank overdraft. And funnily enough, the bank overdraft is in the same year. So 154700 minus that 90000 should then give us that opening balance of 67,000, sorry, 64,700. In that goes. Then the closing balance in your bank account where that overdraft has, has disappeared and in its place is cash and cash equivalents of 12,700. We bring that in, 12,700. And now you subtract one from the other and you find that it's an amount of 56,000 that cash and cash equivalents has increased by. So just to wind up, a good question with many areas in which you can be tested in any reasonable cash flow statement, be it a test, examination, etc. Thank you.